this is like one of the only times I've actually drank black coffee. Good morning, welcome to day nine. Today is our last full day in Iceland. Wait, I just finished eating my breakfast, drinking some coffee. I got a bad update for you guys. Fortunately, the van did not want to start this morning. <laughs> I think I had to try it like four or five times and it just would not want, it didn't want to start. Eventually I got to go. And I'm a little terrified that it's just gonna puke out on me at the most inconvenient time. Anyways, it's going now, so that's good. Fingers crossed, I'm holding my breath that it just can make it through the day and make it through tomorrow morning and then we're good. Okay, my first stop of the day is the bridge between two continents. And it's just where the two tectonic plates have a bridge between them so you can like walk between them. It does look like we're in the middle of nowhere though. Kind of wild. Okay, stop number two was down the road like five minutes, which is pretty perfect. Now I'm doing a hike. I don't know really where it leads. I'm just kind of gonna go for it. Stop number three. This one's pretty freaking cool if I do say so myself. Okay guys, I just went to a cafe and had some delicious Icelandic trout. I figured since I'm in Iceland, I feel like I have to eat some fish. So I just did and it was so, so good. It was quite expensive. I think it ended up being like 30 bucks or something, but worth it. I, oh my God, it was so good. So now I'm headed over to my campsite. I'm actually kind of calling it really early day. It's only two o'clock, I think. I do have to start cleaning up this van and getting some of my stuff packed that I know I won't need tomorrow because like I said earlier, today is the last full day. So the van needs cleaned and I need to start packing. So I figured I'd just go to the campsite early, maybe have a shower and then start packing. This campsite is unreal. Holy cow, look at all the food. It's so nice. Okay guys, I've been at my campsite for a few hours now. It's actually so nice. I think I showed you the kitchen earlier, but it's super nice and I had a shower. I feel human again. My hair is still a little crazy, but a little less crazy than before. I started packing, but it is really hard to pack when you're like, still have to wear so many clothes because I'm going to the hot springs tomorrow so I need my bathing suit and all that stuff out still so my towel and then I also need the clothes I'm wearing today and then the clothes I'm wearing at the airport so lots to pack still still have to pack my sleeping bag that is the biggest the biggest thing I have to pack still <laughs> my suitcase it's already full the sunset is so so pretty mm. One last good sunset. It's so surreal to think that tonight is my last night. Like, it just doesn't feel like I'm done. But also, like, the last two days, I've just been trying to find things to do. Because I'm like, <laughs> I finished Ring Road way too fast. I'm just, like, chatting now. You can tell I haven't talked to anyone in, like, days. Guess what night it is, guys? It is night number nine. It's the last night. I have so many emotions and I don't know which one to pick. I'm like sad to be done and leaving. Also sad to start school in like two days. But I'm also so excited to go home and see my family and my friends and socialize because I have not 
socialized in a while. <laughs> I'm also just like really giddy because I love flying and I know that I'm flying soon and so I'm just like so excited. <laughs> I set a bunch of alarms because I have to wake up early tomorrow. I have Blue Lagoon booked for 8 a.m. So anyways, that's all for night number nine, last night in the van. That's it for Iceland camping, I suppose. Okay, good night guys. I'll talk to you in the morning. morning guys welcome to day 10 our last day it is 6 30 right now i think it was so cold last night i had my head fully submerged in the sleeping bag like i was inside of it i'm so excited to go home i miss home i'm also really excited to go to blue lagoon it's gonna be so relaxing I somehow had to fit this entire sleeping bag in this. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> It's a workout, totally. But look how small it is now. Okay, I'm pretty much all packed now. I just have everything in my suitcase for the most part. And then I'm also bringing a carry-on. I also have a plastic bag that I'm gonna save for my wet bathing suit. Cause that's one thing I didn't really think through was doing Blue Lagoon on the day you're leaving. You're gonna have to have a wet bathing suit to deal with, so. <laughs> I just finished at Blue Lagoon. It was perfection. It was so nice. I'm just headed back to the van now. I'm gonna finish packing and then we're gonna drop the van off at the rental place. see me though that's the question a hot spring right now it's lap hopefully i actually have access to the shower because i'm here for 10 days so if i don't shower for 10 days that might be an issue i mean i'm really just by myself so so i did make it to reykjavik mm, that's embarrassing <laughs> Also, peep my grapes. <laughs> Those are so expensive. <laughs> we don't talk about it. My car is making such a bad sound again. I don't know why it always does that. If you look at, look at me and I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with it. Help me. <laughs> Mom's gonna love it. There's so much sheep. 